and they're off sleeping in the stalls with Lathat, one of the first time starters after Ella Al Hussein now in the saddle as they go over six furlongs here towards the inside tackle of Chakra is one of the first to show in their speed through Rimal Al Mogatara's red jacket. Deeper out on the race course, green colours for Fasahar is also prominent, and so too the gold sleeves of Shamkap to wake as they go around the turn. Just cutting in between that group is Nard to make a five line here as they complete their first two furlongs. Just in behind the speed, Takfura is probably in sixth position followed by the striped jacket of Kanatar. Towards the rear of the field, we have the likes of Ale Wissa, uh, and also towards the rear and struggling is Ian al Karim. As they go around the turn and come back towards the home straight, it's the favourite Ramal al Mogatara, who is in front by a length and a half, chased up by Sanabit now in second position. Towards the inside, Takfura keeps plugging away, and so too does Kanatar. Down the wide outside, Shamkat to wake is beginning to make ground, and so too is the green jacket of Fasahar. But deep inside the last furlong on a bit, they go, and Ramal al Mogatara. He's opening up by a length and a half here as challenges here with Dahama Alays, who is closing, but won't close in time as Rimal Almogatara wins the opening race. Flags down, gates back, they're off and racing. Sayram Mishail wasn't really the slowest into stride and neither was Adhar, who's deeper out on the race course. But the one that got the best start overall was Deem Alanaya in the yellow and black jacket, joined for the lead uh, by Mewore and the Alberi well strung out through the first foam and a half. Back to third position, we find Till Afar had uh, in third with the red sleeves. Pushing up now is Adhar in fourth. Under pressure is the blue jacket red cap of Midrak. Then comes Mutasaliar. And the back marker is Bashayar, who's already finding this a little bit too much as they go around the turn. The one that's completely detached is Sayram Mishail. But as the leaders come into the straight, out in front, it's Deem Alanea, who leads by a length. Till Afahad, though, is travelling oh so well and comes to launch a bid down the centre of the course as Meware begins to struggle and staying on is Adhar down the centre. But deep inside the last fellow in a bit, they go and Til Afahad now has assumed command and got on now. Deem Alanea seemingly has nothing more left to give. Staying on from out of the pack is Midra. Maybe for a place, but this is all over as Tilla Farhad, what a cosy victory this is under Tariq Al-Mansour. Tilla Farhad, the winner, Deem Alanea second again, Adhar in third. They're off. Decent break from the stalls, although just clashing on exit was Kinda Rama in one and Safak Al Kail in two, and eventually surrender the lead to Afdal Mul Hay Min, horse with a big white face towards the inside. He's just nosing on here with the check colours of Gara. This is the leading duo. Deeper out on the race course, the orange colours of Shathat Al Kain is also up there with the pace and with the red jacket of Handania Al Gafaran. Just in behind their speed, then we have the green sleeves of Mohabat El Maidam. Towards the inside of that one, we have Kinda Rama that already very well strung out towards the rear of the field. Hamza Judah doesn't have many behind, and neither too does Safat Al Kail after that poor start. But as they go down the side of the course on the approach back towards the straight, and in hand here, Adel Al Faradi aboard. Afdal Mu Haymin guides into a three length advantage now as they approach the final 400. In front by four. Hamdania al Gafaran gives chase in second position. Picking up now is Shatat al Kinane, but this looks to be all over already as the debutant Afdal Muhaymin is powering on here, stretching clear, opening up inside the last 100 meters, and a winning debut for Afdal Muhaymin. He's down close to the line. Emphatic. Afdal Muhaymin.
20 runners wide across the track. They're off. Jumping away then. Mo Drizali was a little bit awkward at the stalls, but is one of the first to go forward. So too early pace as expected from Jackster. And right towards the inside, the blue sleeves of Rosie's return. Tacking across here is the blue blinkers of Motokem. Double seeking Tariq Al-Mansour wants to be handy and now goes on. So it's a sad towards the inside of Mota Kem. These are the first two. Also up the pace is Rosie's return, looking for a better racing room, Modra Zale. And also up there is main target. Wider out on the race course, Smeaton's like in the orange jacket is already being pushed along towards the rear of the field. Mot Fail is already 25 lengths off the leader as these leaders come round the turn. And it's a six, seven way go for the lead here. Towards the inside, the white face of Assad is narrowly ahead. The blue sleeves of Rosie's return then the blue headgear of Motokem, always been the first three. First shout here for Taj Neom now. Beautiful position to be finessed into this. Four wide down the turn and now says go Alex Moreno, Taj Neom. What stamina will he find? Taj Neom lead by a length and a half. Consensus de Vega though is emerging from out of the pack. Sticking onto the task is Motokem and then comes Rosie's return but Taj Neom is going further and further clear here as he races inside the last furlong. Stamina doubts, no problem at all today. Taj Neom opening up and wins in great style. Taj Neom, Alex Moreno, home in front to in second position, possibly Torquay ahead of consensus to Vega. Rosie's return, very tight for the minors. Taj Neom though, wide margin winner. They're off. Racing away then, Maidenek had to be rafted along from Stall's exit, and so too iconic moment uh, is towards the rear of the field. But getting away smartly was Soros. White jacket, blue braces is one of those that is handy. Pushing up now is Maidenek after that tardy start, and so too Mahalik is up with the pace as expected. So it's a three or four way go for the lead here. Towards the inside, Maidenek is one of the first, so too is Soros. Out in front, though, possibly now is Karnas. Deep around the race course is Brack. It's just getting a little bit tight around that turn. And Mahalik has finally eventually pulled his way to the front. So Mahalik in front for Alex Moreno looking for this double. Karnas now back to second and Brack still settled there in third position. The yellow cap of Brian's party now moving along the outside of Alo Tebi. Soros now is going backwards. So too is Sausalito. And right towards the rear of the field, we have the likes of Abu Hamra and also Tua. But Mahalik still goes well here. And one or two of the others are under pressure, including Brack, who at this moment it seems to be struggling. Out in front, Mahalik still shows the way. Here comes Alatebi now towards the wide outside of Karnas. And Alatebi begins to lay it down to Mahalik, who's clinging onto the lead, but not for long, because Alatebi swoops on by. And Alatebi will go on to score under Mohamed Al Daham. They're off. Jumping away then over seven furlongs, probably Luluat Muscat, the slowest into stride, as through the first furlong they go. Up at the pace early on, Ebiat Al Shuhaib is one of the first to break the line, along with the red jacket, uh, black cross belts of Amsiyati, grey horse in the center of picture, probably five or six going up for the lead. Hood Hood down the wide outside, also pushing forward with Aldoha Al Sham, who's showing plenty of speed on debut. Uh, towards the rear of the field, Jama de Violets is the last still going, and also towards the rear is Lady Die, as the field are covered by about 15 lengths as they go around the turn. And it's Ganimat Al Kaladir now, who is pushed between runners to lead down the side of the course. Narrowly, though, 
to Aldoha Al Sham in second position. Hood Hood has a nice racing position back in third position. The grey jacket just caught on heels there is Ebiet Al Shuhei coming down the wide outside. Here comes the favourite Najdaya Al Bari has got plenty of racing room to work into. Then comes the yellow sleeves of Hadla Al Moghirat. But the leaders are turning into the straight here and going on now is Aldoha Al Sham. Plenty of speed here on debut but has company for the lead here with Ebiet Al Shuhei. Ebiet Al Shuhei now goes on. Look towards the centre of the course here. We have the very pale silks of Almash Al Baha, who's beginning to make a challenge on this leader. On the far side, Ebiet Al Shuhei for Wigberto Ramos. Down the centre, Almash Al Baha for North Al Baruz. It's between this pair. Almash Al Baha just getting the upper hand and wins. Restless in seven, so plenty of these not happy, but they're off. Racing, they've gone without Fanida, who refused to go into the stalls. And towards the rear of the field early on, Tafa was very slow to go, so too was Tours. So lots of naughty behavior going on here throughout these fillies as they go through the first furlong. And there's a, a good pace on here being set by possibly the purple cap of Wardat Fadar has surrendered the lead now uh, to Alja Faliar. Towards the inside, Johanna has plenty of cover. And between that pair, Artiwa is also handy. Deeper out of the race course then under a tight rein is Moktama under Abdullah al Hussein. Favourite Fala al is probably five or six wide as they reach the end of the back straight. Just tucked in behind that one, we have Tusty. Towards the inside, the yellow sleeves of the strong girl has been tracked through by Tours's maroon colours. Then comes the green and white of Durat al -Faka. The red and green belongs to Altimar. And towards the rear of the field, Bostan, the debutant, is probably the last of this main group. But they're tightly clustered here as they go around the far turn. On the approach down the side of the race course. And it's Ricardo Souza Ferreira in front on Johanna. Leading by just under a length now to Egberto Ramos. Looking to go one better than our previous race aboard Alja Faliar. Staying on from out of the pack down the wide outside is Farah Alanea, who surely has every chance from there. The black cap belongs of Artiwa. Tours is now running the short this route up the rail and getting a bit of a seam here then followed by the white cap of Polite down the center but it's Farah Alanea the one to catch Farah Alanea here comes Polite now down the center to upset the favorite Farah Alanea towards the far side Polite goes on by and Polite doubles up Polite the winner and racing slowly away was Salfar and also struggling was Al Safira from the gate but one of those who is up at the pace early on white jacket blue braces of Al Jamana one of the market leaders is one of the first to show as company for the lead with Alan nude and also further out on the race course is Tahiyati so it's Tatiati by a length or so to the big white face towards the inside belonging to Alan Nu, just being stopped there by Aljamana. Another big white face, probably third along the outside, uh, is Hugger Tree. Great name, by the way. Black jacket, red spots, bint mastery is deepest out of the race course, just being followed through by Al Safira. Uh, this leading group of 10 or 12, then a broken clear. The back four include the likes of Swira, uh, also Wadini, and uh, back there is a tyre. Kareem. So, so sort of two different races going on at the same time here. And it's Al Jamana who has assumed command as on the inside, the yellow sleeves belonging to Tahiyati who has just given way now. Here comes Hugger Tree down the outside to move into second position and then comes uh, down the wide outside, Bint Mastery. The blue colours looking to get involved is Oniza. The grey horse now moving into fourth position and then comes Razar the other grey staying along the outside here. Deeper out is the nine Sakut, but as they go inside the last 200 metres, Hugger Tree is the one to catch. But here 
down the wide outside comes Sukut to take command. Sukut goes on now and is stretching clear. Sukut for Mohamed Al Shamari goes on to win in great style. hundred meters and they're off and racing just dwelling in the stall slightly was Abba Al Hoom as they race over 1600 meters also towards the rear of the field is Asdam as through the center the very pale silks the white jacket of Almeton Alpha Kill is one of the first to break the line towards that one's inside market leader Al Najim Al Hadar got away smartly but there's plenty of pace out wide including Al Montajeb who is handy so too the turquoise sleeves of Jalmud Walbel uh, the green jacket deeper out on the race course belongs to Inferno uh, and back towards the inside Almeton Alpha Kill looks as though Camillo is just spotting a gap here along the running rail for Al Najim Al Hadir trying to keep him off heels uh, he's racing alongside the red and white jacket of Bab Al Hazam being pushed along uh, already at this early stage is the yellow sleeves of Tantawi and deeper out on the race course we have Al Magic the bat marker is the red and yellow of Ajmal Tahiyar for Mohammed Al Daham as the leaders go down the side of the course towards the inside number 16 Al Montajeb has the lead here to number nine, Mr. Mobhem. Now they're breaking some six lengths clear then of Jalmud Wabel looking for the favourite. No better than fourth at the minute, but has got clear daylight now in fourth position. Camille Ospino is just being chased along for a few strides. Then the red sleeves of Arcadley. Now are these leaders going to come back to them here as they go inside the last 200? Mr. Mobhem is in front by three lengths. Second position for Al Montajeb. Al Najib Al Hadir is taking a lifetime to get going. Is getting going now, but surely is too late. Mr. Mobem racing up towards the line goes on to win. Mr. Mobem just lasted. again and they're off four bar dick break from stall number one yellow sleeves from ovilla was a little bit awkward and so too the dark jacket of asalat farhad one of the maidens towards the rear of the field and pushed along at the back is mathayil but towards the inside, the blue cap, number nine, Tikrit, probably has the overall lead, but only narrowly. Also up with the pace early on is Slayout, and the green colours of Israj has a good racing position. Further out on the race course, the red colours of red and blue candy is handy, uh, probably in fourth position at the moment, just being tracked through there by Clodovia. Uh, further out on the race course, the orange and blue of Al Sahira is probably about sixth or seventh at the moment, followed by the red sleeves of Miss Fihalea. Uh, towards the rear of the field, still spot the blue blinkers of Mathayil and also Asalat Farhad is one of the bat markers. As they go down the side of the course and they've gone past halfway, it's Alex Moreno and Israj in the green colours, tracked every move by red and blue candy they're going stride for stride these big two in the market between that pair though we have the white cap of tawakar who gets a first mention and down the outside comes tattoo al Gayam. it's between these four at the moment clodovia's silver jacket in fifth position being pushed along and chased along is slayel the one that's making ground from out of the pack now is corbar the gray but moving into fourth or fifth position as they go inside the last 200 having a real set two here is this raj on the far side of tawakar who begins to wander around but Israj is in front by a length and a tail. Israj just holding on from Tawakar. Alex Moreno told us it's a double for Alex Moreno. Israj wins. They're off. 
Hallant's jumped okay, but was ridden earlier on for a position, just tucking in behind runners now. Uh, also up at the pace, White Blinkers of Kamash has surrendered the lead uh, to Latita in the green colours, who is one of the first to break the line. Pallance now has been forced to hand towards the inside track in Mucho Carasis. Deeper out of the race course, the yellow cap of Tahin is prominent. And just on the inside of that one, also red headgear for Gal Duran. So as they go down the far end of the race course, they completed their first 400 meters and it's Mucho Carasis having a little wander around as is so often the case, but he is in front to the red, white and blue of Flash 11. Between that pair looking for racing room is Latita. Uh, also up with the pace is Kamash. The red sleeves over on the far side uh, belong to Galderan. And then the yellow cap of Tahim. They're going even further wide here. Two in the same ownership. Tazam's black cap, or Tazam's red cap, I should say. Motafaridar's black cap are going six and seven wide down the turn. Asula is just picking off one or two rivals, going the shortest way up the fence. Then comes the black sleeves of Al Hermes. Just being relegated behind midfield is Lucas. Towards the back of the field, we have the debutant Salsa Bila. Uh, and also towards the rear of the field and struggling is Al Kasi. But down the turn they go. Mucho Carasis is just in front. Narrowly, though, to Karmash in second position. Asula now beginning a challenge off the running rail, just angling out for a bit of racing room. Pallant's got first run, though, and here comes Pallant's down the outside. Pallant's picks it up with 250 to go. Kamash in second position. Mucho Karasis in third towards the rail. Then comes Asula and Al Hermes. But Pallant's is pouring it on. It's clearing away by five to six. Let's chase hard by Al Hermes and Asula. Pallant's is home. And Naif Alanazi absolutely loving it on the line. And they're off. Decent clean line from the stalls, although possibly Kyra at the slowest into stride was just a little bit awkward and trails the field by a couple of lengths. So too does Juju, the red and yellow towards the rear of the field. But tacking across here is Yunagi, one of the greys, and it is clear by the best part of two to three lengths. Yellow cap on the outside belongs to Hossin Albayan, also pushing forward here. Yellow colours of Selena, Diana and Manayar. So Manayar towards the far side in the black cap. Towards the inner is Unagi. Between that pair, the orange cap of Alaziza. The pink jacket of Al Kahila is also prominent. The yellow sleeves belong to Blue Oud. This is the leading five. Uh, the red colours of Siba Al Mogatara has company on the wide outside uh, with Selena Diana, who's just caught in behind runners now and starting to go backwards. Uh, the yellow cap there on the wide outside, Hossin Al Bayan, is tracked through uh, by Queen Stride. Back towards the inside, Shiblet Cloud goes the shortest way and still uh, in hand for Tariq Al Mansour. Tracked by Simp towards the rear of the field, the green colours of next is one of the last and so too the white headgear Kyrat, uh, who was awkward on stall's exit so down the side they go in the nightcap the black cap belongs to Manayer, who is the leader by two lengths orange cap of ala zaiza uh, will be the first challenger just being pushed along now is unagi who is finding this a little bit too much but they're still ahead by about three or four lengths uh, from the main body of the field headed by Shiblak Cloud who's beginning to pick up so too is Blue Ood and down the outside Siba Al Mogatara as they go inside the last 200 still in front is Manning here though clinging on to this advantage and if anything finding a little bit more Ala Zaiza will have one last crack and so too down the outside will Blue Ood but Manning is surely home and Manning collects the prize in the last <laughs> <laughs> 